the factory that manufactures vital energy. The power of the sun, which meets the energy needs of all living things on Earth, is nearly 10,000 times greater than all the energy that all the billions of people in the world will need throughout a single day. Developed countries spend billions of dollars researching how to collect and store this free energy from the sun. An astonishing fact emerged as a result of this research. Plants store solar energy and this system works in a perfect manner. The name of this system is photosynthesis. Plants carry out photosynthesis through the solar cells in their structure. These cells convert solar energy into chemical energy, thus producing carbohydrates, the basic food source of all life. Carbohydrates are fundamental sources of food that either directly or indirectly meets the energy requirements of all living things. There is no need to eat plants to obtain this energy. Since animals eat plants, human beings can obtain that same energy through consuming animal products. For example, let us consider sheep that eat grass. They absorb the energy-charged molecules in grass, and the energy contained in the molecules thus enters their bodies. Human beings then take this energy, which reaches plants from the sun and from there enters animals, and use it in their own bodies. As we have seen, by whatever means they obtain it, all living things have to use the energy provided by solar energy by way of photosynthesis. Through photosynthesis, plants supply us not only with nutrients, but also with a large part of the substances we use for fuel in our daily lives. Fuels such as petrol, coal, and natural gas, for instance, are sources of energy in which solar energy was once stored through photosynthesis. The same applies to the wood we burn as kindling. Just in terms of this substance, it is clear how photosynthesis is vitally important. Understanding photosynthesis and the mechanisms involved in it is also very important for scientists. If this process can be fully understood, it will be possible to increase food production make the most efficient use of nature, extract the maximum benefit from solar energy, develop new drugs, and design faster, smaller, and more efficient machines that run on solar energy. However, we must immediately make it clear that we still do not know enough about photosynthesis to be able to produce systems that store energy by replicating this process. And yet, photosynthesis is a very simple matter for a leaf with no mind or consciousness. Despite all our advanced technology and billion-dollar research, we have been unable to replicate this system. It is astonishing that hundreds of trillions of leaves have been carrying out photosynthesis for billions of years. Plants have carried out this process uninterruptedly since the first day they were created. This means that everywhere which has vegetation has a factory that uses solar energy to produce sugar from carbon dioxide and water. Unknown to us, the tomatoes we eat, the parsley in our salad, and the ivy growing out on the veranda are all in a state of constant production. This is a blessing from omniscient God on human beings. God shows his servants his love in this way. Plants are created in such a form so as to serve human beings and all living things. Leaves have been implementing this flawless system for millions of years that human beings with all of their modern technology are still unable to fully understand. In one verse of the Quran, God tells us that it is impossible for human beings to create even a single tree from nothing.
He who created the heavens and the earth and sends down water for you from the sky by which we make luxuriant gardens grow, you could never make their trees grow 